am sitting over here starting my process. Those of you who know me and have done videos before or watched videos before, you know, um, I have a class called Dream On. It's about visioning, um, you know, what you want in the upcoming year. And I'll put the link in the comments. However, the way I start that process is I sit with cards, oracle cards usually, and um, you know, try to understand what I want to bring into the new year. And, you know, oracle cards for me, they just nudge my subconscious, right? And, you know, it's an intuitive thing for me. So um, there's lots of ways to do this, but this is the way I do it. And um, this first card, this is a deck called... A Wee Star in the Forest of Precious Twigs, and it's by Tricia Murray. And there's just something about her um, illustrations, you know, that are very soothing to my eye. So this one is called Immersion, and basically it's talking about um, the gifts that are tucked away in your shadow. And um, I think that's probably a pretty good thing to remember in the upcoming year. So um, let's see, I'm gonna put immersion. And then the next card I pulled is, um, it's the Gentle Creatures Wisdom Deck. And the artwork is by Dan May. And you know, it just calls to me. And this is directions. So for me, um, owls are wisdom, and this little sweet bean is asking for directions. Um, but you know, it's a funny thing, like, I was thinking about this earlier. If you ask for directions, right, um, then usually if you stop, you're in your car, you're in a trip, and you ask for directions, usually you're going to take those directions. Although so many of us don't ask for directions anymore, do we? Because we have a GPS. But, um, Sometimes, well, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but sometimes if you stop and ask a local person for directions, you go off on a path that you normally, you know, wouldn't have gone down. And so um, then it becomes like, is it about the the destination or the journey? And so anyway, that's that's what I was thinking about. And so directions, do I want it to be, and sorry, I'm writing at an odd angle. Um, do I want it to be about the destination or the journey? And and that's what I took from this. You know, when I'm asking for wisdom, you know, what am I looking for? And then this is um, Sandra Kuntz. She's an artist, I think, in Canada. I love her cards. Um, they're called the messenger cards. And um, the one that came up was trust yourself and... That's always a good one, right? I'm happy to pull that into, into my year. Um, this card is one of mine. And before you ask, um, no, they're not for sale yet because I haven't figured out the formatting. Um, and so <laughs> I use them because I know what the original artwork looks like. Um, but so anyway, um, it's almost safe, you know. And so there's an element of that for me where, you know, I lost my mom. We had COVID. I've had quite a few surgeries. I had one a few weeks ago that did not go as it should have. Um, I'm dealing with pain, but all of those things are, um, it's just a litany of things that could make me feel unsafe or unsettled or out of place. And so I was glad to see this card right here, almost safe, you know, so things are looking up, right? <laughs> um, this next card is, um, call it Baron Reed's The Shaman's Dream. I like her cards, and it's the benefactor, grace and generosity. I thought this was an interesting one, too, because, you know, we 
all of us at some point in our life have benefited from benefactors, benefactors who gave us wisdom or mentored us with something or, hey, you know, even if you needed a couple dollars, loaned you a couple dollars at the grocery store. And then also the flip side of that is we have been benefactors in our lives to other people. And it's a full circle thing for me that when you share what you have, what you know, um, and you share it freely and with generosity, that comes back around to you. And so it was just a really good reminder for me of um, that's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to think about and be a part of. And I think it's very, very healing. When you pay something forward, um, it, it's just a great feeling. So um, that was wonderful. And then this, this is not my normal, it's not normally what I'm drawn to. You may notice, I kind of like grays and... But um, someone told me about this. It's the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. And um, Priestess Moon is who, who the uh, person is that created this deck. And there is something about this deck, right? So um, what came up was the Awakening. And it's unicorn magic. So basically it was like a celebration is needed to jumpstart you've been in a place where you were just kind of cautious with your heart and it's time to like call up your loved ones and your family members and light up some candles and twinkly fairy lights and have a celebration so um you know what i'm gonna take that advice and actually i'm kind of seeing that as the overall message here um, I don't know why, but, you know, it just felt like that message. And I noticed this stuff right here, it's all inside of a wheel, right? So the wheel of the year. And um, I always love when that happens, you know, when you, you pick a page or whatever, and it all starts to make sense together. So, um, so yeah, my, um, what I want to pull in, what I'm needing to pull in, my subconscious, my intuition, the cards are telling me um, that it's more of a give and take with people this year for me. Last year, it was all about going within, trust in yourself, um, wisdom with yourself. This year feels like um, a give and take, you know, is it's a circle. Like you can't just always be the hermit. You have to step out, step back in. And so um, I'll be looking at all of this and seeing where we are. And then once I've kind of digested this, um, I'll create um, a piece of artwork to support this vision for myself. And, and like I said, there's a whole process over at Artist Magic Online. And, um, you know, if you're interested, check it out. If not, try sitting down this way and looking at your year ahead.